Last time on Drenched, we flew to the island of Oahu in Hawaii, where we kicked off the trip with some pretty cool critters, octopus lovin', and a hike up Diamond Head State Monument. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are so stoked you're here. By now, you might be wondering how we fund these travels of ours. I invented post-its. That's what I do. Just kidding. Nate and I make commercial marketing videos for all kinds of businesses, but scuba companies are always our favorite. In this episode, we're filming for Hawaii Scuba University. HSU is a pretty sweet program that lets people in the military use their benefits to become scuba instructors. How cool is that? So, HSU arranged a boat day for us to get some footage of these guys and gals in action. They see me rolling, <laughs> they hate it. They trolling and trying to catch me riding dirt. We're driving, we're driving the boat together. We're together, doing it. They're not driving the boat. <laughs> It was an absolutely beautiful morning on the water in downtown Waikiki. There was all kinds of action out there. We wanted to get some good shots of the students having a good time on the boat, but we also wanted to make them look like trained, disciplined divers, which wasn't always easy because they were having way too much fun out there. And look like a badass. That's just going to be kind of hard not to. The dive site we jumped in at is pretty awesome because you can actually hit three different wrecks on the same dive. We dropped down into the blue and swam for about five minutes to reach this bad boy right here. This plane is called the YS-11 and it was sunk by Atlanta submarines to add another point of interest to their subdives. After a big hurricane hit, the plane got ripped into three pieces and over the years other parts started to break apart, leaving just what you see here. This wing sits in about 115 feet of water. So we couldn't stay too long before we had to shallow up our dive and boogie on over to our next stop. A short swim took us to the next wreck, the YO-257. This ship was built in the 40s for the US Navy. It was a refueling vessel that served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. It could hold up to 200,000 gallons of fuel. After she was decommissioned, Atlanta submarines purchased the vessel and sank her to make yet another fun stop on their sub dives. I love this wreck. It had a very mysterious feel to it. Even though it was sunk intentionally, you still have to wonder what this ship has seen during its heyday. I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff, but I can't imagine that many ships have served in three major wars. Where has this ship been? Who were its crew? I bet it has a lot of stories to tell that we will never know about. We could hear the hum for quite some time, but it finally it emerged right outside of our view. A giant behemoth Atlantis submarine filled with people laughing, smiling, waving. I wonder how many of them it was their first time to see scuba divers. In the distance, I saw a fever of spotted eagle rays coming across the bow of the Atlantis. I rushed over there to grab this shot. Amazing. We were blown away by the YO-257, but it was time to make the swim over to our last leg of the dive. This beauty right here is the San Pedro, and you guessed it, this one was sunk by Atlantis submarines as well. It was a Korean-owned long-line fishing boat that was eventually converted over to be an inner island cargo ship before Atlantis purchased it. This is the shallowest of the three wrecks, sitting in only about 60 feet of water, so we were able to squeeze a few more minutes out of the dive. One of the highlights of this wreck was this slippery guy right here. I love filming free swimming mores, they look so beautiful on camera. This one wasn't shy at all and put on quite the show for me. The 
dive was over way too soon. But we hit our no decompression limit and it was time to say goodbye to this magical collection of wrecks. We definitely got the footage that we needed to make an awesome video for Hawaii Scuba University. We had just seen the best of what Waikiki had to offer us underwater, so it was time to see what Waikiki had going on on land. So we headed home to clean up a little bit, went to our favorite beach for sunset before we headed downtown. So we just watched a very beautiful sunset and now we're headed down into Waikiki. We're going to go check out the Chinatown area and see what's on offer down there. There's some cool temples. Get going. The big city, baby. Downtown. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Nate's mad at me. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, no, 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 not cool. <laughs> I was trying to film this beautiful uh, cityscape you can see behind Nate's face. And she reaches and across I, me, puts the camera across me to fill out the window <laughs> with it in my face. I thought it was lower. I thought you could see No, I couldn't it. see a damn thing on the freeway. We almost died because of me, but oh, nailed that shot. Check it out. <laughs> I hope it was Cut worth it. Cut to the shot. Leave, leave it in the comments if that shot was <laughs> if that made the video worth our near you. death experience or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. I love you though. Film this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Go run! So we made it to Chinatown, and our first mission is to eat some delicious treats. So here we go. What are you What are you hoping to eat? Noodles. Think, noodles. Okay, that sounds good. Dim sum. Ooh. I don't even know what that is. I sounded pretty cool just then. Uh -huh. I want my dim sum. I want my dim sum. I'm gonna get the most delicious food in all of Chinatown. Pretty much everyone's been telling us that Chinatown's more of a day thing, so we kind of kind of screwed the pooch on this one. But um, yeah, so I think we're gonna make our way over to downtown Waikiki mm -hmm. and see what there is to offer over there. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, is we got that spark. We've literally been looking for a parking spot for, I don't know, minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah, and we finally squeezed into what I thought was an impossible <laughs> spot, but we did it. And now we're, we're here. It's happening. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm gonna find Jordan's outfit that she has to try on, and she's gonna find my outfit that I have to try on. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, so they be matching or no? Uh, well, no, I guess no they whatever. Be. So uh, we'll meet back in two minutes. Okay. Mine's gonna be better than yours. All right, so I've got the perfect outfit for Nate right here. We got a shirt, hat, and shorts. I think I think the hat is gonna really be what what sends it over the edge and takes it to the next level. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, you like these shorts? I like that shirt. You actually look awesome, baby. Of course I do. <laughs> of course. 
Oye, el tipo, hoy me se queda en bolata hongo. Queda mirando así por los vidrios de la cantina, de la, de la ventana. El tipo miró hacia afuera, así vio donde lo estaba mirando un man fijamente. Man viéndolo y su man. Hey. ¿Será que estará confundido? Y el man viéndolo y... Sí, así me la gané. That's more better, more better. <laughs> Take the money. Good boy. Oh, good. He's eating the dollar. Oh, don't, 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 up on your ball, up on your ball, up. Oh, good Can you balance your can on your head? Okay. He's real proud to be an American. Hey, look, God bless America. Yeah, get a little bit of Oh, Best <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, good job. You did so good. Best star What's his name? His name is Boo Boo. Boo Boo? Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Oh, thanks, Boo Boo. You're amazing. I love you. Best star is Fred That was by far the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love, I used to have guinea pigs yeah. when I was little and, and as an adult. What were their names? Um, I had a few guinea pigs. I had one named Eunice, one named Pudding, one named Baconator, yeah. and um, one named Myrtle. Said we weren't going to do it. But here we are at the T bar. Tell me about your relationship with bubble tea. I love this place uh, and I love bubble tea. It's absolutely ridiculously good. Uh, it's milk tea and then it's got what they call boba pearls in it, which is like tapioca pearls. And it's delicious. It's like a milky, creamy, milk sweet. Just delicious. We are anxiously awaiting the arrival of our caramel bubble tea thing of a thing. So. Oh, here it is! Oh, yeah. You gotta get the big straw so you can fit the pearls in there. How good is your bubble tea on a scale of 1 to 10? Um. It's about a 12. It really is, no. Yeah. Okay. But, um. <laughs> Just kidding. That wasn't really how I drank bubble tea. <laughs> Met up with our good buddy, Mr. Dan Beckett. Hey! Hey! We know Dan from a dive shop that we all worked at together in Maui. It's always good to see a friendly face while traveling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're almost there. That's a big beer. Oh, dude, that's so good. Try that. Try that. Look at that yard. Nom, nom, nom. We got a lot left to drink. So good, man. I'm driving home. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> fun, fun. All right, guys, it gets a little bit messy from here, so uh, nobody needs to see that. And that's a wrap. Don't miss next week's episode where we check out Hanauma Bay, then drive up to Oahu's famous North Shore for a fun-filled day of chainsaws and big waves. We're putting out a new episode each week, so watch, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to let your fellow mermaids and mermen know about us by sharing our videos. If you want the most up-to-date information about us, our mission, and how you can be our dive buddy, check out our website, drenchdivers.com. Seriously, thanks again for watching, and see you next week.